Hey guys! In today's video, I want to share with you some of the benefits of being an ICF certified coach. My name is Krista Kathleen and I am a professional certified coach, a spiritual business mentor, and I also have my own level two ICF accredited coach training program called the Born to Coach Training Academy, which I hope that you check out after this video. All the information and details is in the description below the video. So I assume if you're watching this video, you're probably considering earning your ICF credentials, which I think is a really smart professional move to do, especially if you want to become a full-time professional life coach. Now earning your ICF credentials is a two-step process. So you're going to have to go through an ICF accredited coach training program first, graduate, and then from there, after you have your coaching hours completed, you'll go over to the ICF website and take your ICF credentialing exam there. Once you pass the exam, then you can earn your credentials. The different credentials available are an ACC, a PCC, or an MCC. Now I have my PCC credential, which stands for Professional Certified Coach. I want to encourage you to go over to the ICF website where you can get more information on how to earn your ICF credentials. Now think about it this way. Doesn't it make sense if you're going to ask your clients to invest good money in your coaching services that you take the time and energy and money to invest in your professional training as a coach? Now the life coaching industry is not regulated right now. So that means that anyone can call themselves a coach and you can just basically do self-study and you don't have to go through any formal training before you can call yourself a coach and start charging for your coaching services. There are some benefits to this. There's a lot of flexibility, but at the same time, is this ethical? Is this the safest thing to do as a professional life coach? I don't feel that every life coach should work towards earning their ICF credentials. When you decide to go for your ICF credentials, it takes a lot of time and energy and it's an investment. It took me a full year before I got my ACC credential and then it took me two years to earn my PCC credential. But I do feel that if you are going to be a full-time coach, that this is one of the best investments that you can give to yourself and your future clients. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into some of the benefits of becoming an ICF certified coach. The first benefit to having your ICF credential is that you are going to stand out from other coaches in your industry. Think about it this way. When clients are out there searching for a life coach and they are looking for what makes you qualified to coach them, they are going to be looking at your background and your training and your credentials. And if it's you against, if it's you versus other coaches that they're looking into, they're probably going to want to choose the coach who is qualified to be a professional life coach because it's going to make them feel safer and feel better about handing over their hard earned dollars to someone who knows what they're doing. The second benefit is having your ICF credentials makes you more credible and it also helps you feel more legit as a professional coach and it's going to help that imposter feeling stay away. Um, I know that I practiced for a full year as a coach before I went through coach training and then after getting my ICF credentials, I felt so good and I felt like a professional. It felt good to raise my rates, charge the prices that I wanted to charge because I knew that I invested in my training and that I was well equipped to work with my clients and get them incredible results. You're really just going to start to trust yourself more as a professional once you have those credentials behind your name. The third benefit is your clients are going to feel safer hiring you. Think about it this way. Maybe they find your website on the internet and one of their first questions they might be asking themselves is, is this coach legit? Do they know what they're doing? If I hand them over my hard earned dollars, are they going to be able to truly help me and get the results that I want in my life? Also, your clients are gonna know that you practice as an ethical coach if you've gone through formal training and you have those ICF credentials because anyone who earns their ICF credentials takes a pledge to abide by the ICF code of ethics, 
again, just making your clients know that they're in the safe hands of a professional coach. The fourth benefit is that you are going to have more job opportunities available to you, which is going to allow you to find more clients and make more money. Um, companies like Better Up will only hire coaches that have ICF credentials behind their last name. Or if you want to work for a different coaching company or corporation, you are going to have to show that you've gone through an ICF accredited coach training program and that you have your ICF credentials. So that was one of the reasons that I decided to earn my ICF credentials is if my coaching business ever didn't work out, that I would have this beautiful backup plan that I could still be a coach for the rest of my life and work for someone else because I had taken the time and money to get those ICF credentials. The fifth benefit is that you are going to be ahead of the standardization curve. So like I mentioned earlier in this video, the coaching industry is not regulated, but there probably will be a time where they are going to crack down and start regulating the industry. And it might even be where coaches aren't allowed to practice anymore until they take their exam and they get their credentials. And so if that were to happen, then you would have to put your coaching practice on hold while you go through training and earn your hours and pass your credential exam, which as I talked about earlier, definitely takes some time. It could take anywhere from, you know, one to two years or longer. So just doing that now and getting it done and over with again is, I think is just a really smart investment for your future as a professional coach. And the last benefit to earning your ICF credentials, which is, I think is the most important one is that your clients are really going to benefit from all the training that you give to yourself. This is one of the most empowering things you can do as a coach and all of the tools that you learn in coach training, you're going to be able to pass that down on to your current clients, your future clients, um, and be able to change their life on a much deeper level. I just remember there was a huge difference in the way I coached before I went through coach training and after I went through coach training. And a lot of coaches out there calling themselves coaches aren't actually providing coaching because they're trying to you know, tell their clients what to do and give them advice and sharing all these personal stories. And that's actually one of the least helpful things we can do for our clients and doing these things keeps our clients more stuck. And I know that you are here because you care about helping people. So I just truly believe that educating yourself and going through an ICF accredited coach training program is one of the best gifts that you can give to your future clients. Hey Lincoln, I'm filming a video. Do you want to say hi really fast? Hey everyone, if you want to meet my son Lincoln, he just wanted to come say hi. Can you wave hi? Hi! We've got a future little life coach here. Okay, so as you're deciding if you want to enroll in the ICF accredited coach training program and go for your ICF credentials, I want to leave you with a question here today is what does earning your ICF credentials mean to you? Right. If you have a deep and purposeful why behind that, then I would say go for it. It's so worth it, especially if you want to be a full time professional life coach. If you're kind of like, eh, I feel like I should do it, then that's honestly not going to be enough motivation to get you through the hard work to earn those ICF credentials. So just spend some time sitting with this. If you do decide that you want to go through your ICF credentials, then um, please reach out and book a coach training consult with us. Like I said, we are a level two ICF accredited coach training program through the Born to Coach Training Academy. We can help you to earn your ACC or your PCC credentials. We'd love to have you in our next upcoming class. So go ahead and click on the link below the video to schedule a coach training consult with us. I can't wait to meet you and hear your greater vision for becoming a coach. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and like it. And then that way you'll continue to stay notified when I release new videos for life coaches every week. All right, everyone have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.